So the 2015 MLB Winter Meetings is currently underway, and what a great day it was for day one. And we're here talking about a team that has been making a big splash. They're really, you know, stacking up to get ready for the 2016 campaign, and that is the Seattle Mariners. Yes, you guys are thinking about the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, that team is also going out there and trying to sign, you know, almost everybody in free agency. I'm surprised they have not, you know, hopped on Chris Davis or Pedro Alvarez yet. But we will probably hear their names, you know, in play for them at some point. But regardless. You know, the, the Seattle Mariners have just been a team that has just been quietly and just, you know, gaining player after player after player. And you look at who they have acquired during the offseason. And this Seattle Mariners team, after a very disappointing this past year, you know, they really want to be a legitimate contender. You know, there's been a lot of offseason rumors that, you know, Robinson Cano does not want to be there anymore. He wants to go back to New York. Um, he shoots down those rumors. But, you know what, this team is really making some great strides to build a team around Robinson Cano. I know this team really builds around him hitting-wise. Um, because he's a really standout player. You know, Nelson Cruz is there. This team has gotten some solid hitting, and they really, you know, made a great addition today or, or, or during the past, you know, entire offseason so far. But today, they really made a big splash into their pitching. But before we get into that, I want to let you guys know on who they have so far in free agency and who they've acquired via trade, signing. Um, they went out there, you know, just recently. They got Nori Aoki bringing him away from the San Francisco Giants. Um, Aoki and the Giants were, I think, were in contract talks, but, you know, nothing really came about or if the Giants were even interested. I know there was some kind of interest between Aoki and the Giants going back there, but that was not to be. The Mariners were able to bring him um, out of the Giants' grasp and bring him over to Seattle to play, uh, to play left field as their starting left fielder. Uh, Leonis Martinez of the Texas Rangers is coming over to the Seattle Mariners. That's a great addition there. Um, also, they got a new catcher. You know, I know they really need to add a uh, legitimate catcher there. Uh, I know Chris Iannetta is not you know your premier catcher, but he's going to be the new starting catcher right Right behind him, we got Mike Zunino, who I'm a huge fan of, and also Steve Clevenger is right behind the plate as well. So they have some solid, you know, pretty, in, yeah, really, you know, some pretty interesting catchers, you know, at the catcher's position. I think it's going to end up going down to Ionetta and Zunino. I think Clevenger could be the likely man out. Um, like I said, a designated hitter. You know, if you look at this entire team on paper, it looks so fantastic. Um, but you know, regardless, Nelson Cruz is there. You know, Cano is there. This team is just stacked at hitting. But what about the pitching? I know they have been making some small, you know, you know, some some small additions to the uh, to the either the bullpen or even to, you know, the new closer role. You know, they got Joaquin Benoit from the San Diego Padres. Uh, Benoit having is coming off a fantastic year with the San Diego Padres. They got Justin DeFreitas, a guy who has just been completely dominated in Philadelphia. Uh, they I know they have, you know, Mike Montgomery there. I think they got him last year. Uh, Vidal Nuno, they got him last year in the in the Trumbo deal um, over to Seattle. He went uh, along with Trumbo, who I want to say is now with Baltimore now. Um, so, you know, this Mariners team is taking some great strides, but in the rotation, their starting rotation, which has King Felix Hernandez at number one, Taiwan Walker at number two, you got Nathan Carnes at three, James Paxton at four. Just those four guys alone is such a fantastic, a young rotation that can make a big splash going into 2015. But what about the rounding out the rotation? I know the back end of the Mariners rotation has just been the ultimate struggle, and what better way to round out your rotation than trading for none other than Wade Miley. You know, yes, Wade Miley, a guy who is very solid, you know, all around, you know, he can, you know, do so many great things. And you know what, for having him, a guy who has made a big of a splash as he did in his early in his early times with the Diamondbacks, yes, he's fallen off a little bit. You know, if you go back and look at his 2012 uh, season, that was probably the best season he has had so far. A 16-11 and 11 record with an ERA at 333 in 32 games. That is fantastic. The guy can reach over, uh, over 200 innings. He can uh, but you only seen it, you know, twice, and it was just at a very minimum. Um, in 2013 and 2014, 200, 202 innings pitched in 2013, 201 innings pitched in 2014. You know, when you're at the back end of the rotation, you know, I think that you know he's gonna add, he's gonna continue to you know be a little bit more better. You know, last year in its own lone season with Boston, Boston completely fell off. Their hitting was not up to par. Um, the things you know going on in that in that organization, including what led up led up to his trade. You know, with Dave Dombrowski coming over. Um, to the Boston Red Sox to become their their new GM. 
you know, Wade Miley didn't really have a chance to stay with the team, you know, with, you know, David Price coming in, you know, salary being the biggest thing. Um, the Boston Red Sox did get a couple of great, you know, players as well. They got, uh, if I'm saying this correctly, please correct me. If I'm saying it wrong, if I'm saying it right, you know, please, you know, 100% correct me down below if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, Ronis Elias, who, uh, who has been a guy who's just been jumping from either the Miners to the Mariners, you know, rotation to the bullpen. You know, he's just been bumping around, you know, the Mariners didn't really have much for him. So, you know what, he was able to to go over to the Boston Red Sox, he could potentially end up being in the rotation. I'm not saying it's a guarantee that he's going to end up going there, but regardless, he has an opportunity. And then the Boston Red Sox got an excellent, you know, seventh inning pitcher or late inning relief pitcher in Carson Smith. Carson Smith has done a lot of great things in Seattle. Now it's time to go over to a really, you know, hot-headed and competition team uh, uh, division in the uh, American League East. You know that, you know, it's always a hot-headed. You know, who wants to get there first? You know, there's teams that could be in first place. You know, you know, at the end of the year, and it all comes down to the final week, and that's why I call it that hot-headed kind of division. So, you know, it's always going to be the competition is going to be going up through the roof, including with Boston's new addition of David Price. You know, you're adding two great guys to your bullpen because pitching is a big thing out there in Boston. They do have the hitting. They got Sandoval. They got Hanley Ramirez. If they do not, you know, flip Hanley Ramirez, I think that the Boston Red Sox could be going down a great avenue and going back and competing in the American League East. So, you know, there's a lot of great things going on about, but this way. Miley to the to the Seattle Mariners deal is going to work out. I think the winner of this deal right now has got to be the Seattle Mariners. You know, you just round out your great rotation. Let me just run down this with you guys real quick. Felix Hernandez, Taiwan Walker, Nathan Carnes, James Paxton, and Wade Miley. A one, two, three, four, five. Excellent rotation. You got your ace. You got you go. You got your rising star at number two. You got two, you know, solid, you know, three, four punch. And then you have a, a guy who can make some big split. Who, who can potentially end up being a twelve or, or at worst maybe an eleven win guy this year. Because when you look at this hitting, I think the Seattle Mariners team is setting up to be a true winner in 2015. And they just got to get the right pitching around him. I think. That that they have an excellent, you know, they rounded out the rotation. Now it's time to try to, you know, set sail and jump into trying to get another bullpen pitcher, someone that can really step up. I mean, I'm not 100% in on, you know, the middle of the, you know, early inning relief pitchers. You know, I know they do have, you know, Vidal Nuno, Montgomery, uh, DeFreitas, Anthony Bass. I know they have guys like that, but none of them are really, you know, you know, standout kind of guys. There's nothing you can really, you know, okay, we're going to keep this guy. We're going to, we're, we're going to depend on you. You know, they don't, they're not very dependable kind of guys. I think they need to add at least one more, you know, relief pitcher to this rotation to really set them up to be a, 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 a true, you know, World Series caliber team. I think this team is just right on the cusp. It's just working on your bullpen a little bit, you know, make a move or so. I know you can end up, you, you know, you know, dealing, you know, Clevenger, you can end up dealing, uh, you know, Gutierrez, that could be possibilities, but, you know, we'll just have to take it with a grain of salt and see what the Seattle Mariners would like to do, so let me hear your guys' opinion about this. Wade Miley's coming over to the Seattle Mariners from the Boston Red Sox. Um, a great trade I went down. You know, we got a lot more videos coming your guys' way from the winter meetings. I'll catch you guys soon. My name is Justin Kish for the Access Sports Network. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in our next